If you would like to donate and support my channel, please leave a donation on Cash App, PayPal, or Zelle below. I would really appreciate it, Pisces. Okay, so, um... Let's see what's in store for Pisces. Alright, Pisces. Your priestess is here. Alright. And we're going to get started here. Pisces spirit, please come through for Pisces. The Ace of Wands. Okay, passion. Messages coming in, Pisces. Ooh, three of pentacles. Working on things. The death card, the rebirth. The Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Chalices, and the Six of Wands. Okay, so we do have the Two of Cups. The Soulmate is here, Pisces, as we said before. Lurking, watching, and waiting. Okay, for you to come forward for, for, the, for a chance, opportunity. They waiting for the green light to come towards you, Pisces, to offer you passion. They want to finally work with you with the Three of Pentacles here. Alright, so I was waiting for it myself. I was waiting until I was ready to come through. You do have the death card in a small pentacle here. The death card is definitely a rebirth because it's an upright position here. And uh, so someone is waiting for a rebirth. It could be you or your partner, Pisces. But they're moving slow with the pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Also a Scorpio, given the death card here. Um, so don't be scared and worried about a death or ending. Um, we do have this two of chalices, okay? But maybe someone might contact you and say they lost, they had a death in the family. Um, that's what I'm seeing as well. And someone might want to reconnect during this, you know, grieving process. You might have someone come back from the past to work things out. Let's see, Pisces, partner. Ooh. Okay, so someone, two of pentacles and a hermit. Someone is definitely hiding... Okay, not ready to take on the world. Need some more time to think in solitude. The hermit is about searching, thinking, and needing that moment to decide with two of pentacles here. All right, most likely a Virgo, very heavy Virgo here with the hermit here. It could be basically anyone. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with the two of chalices. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What do our partner want to tell us? Ooh, justice. And the Wheel of Karma is at the bottom of the deck here. So some type of legal battle they have been dealing with. Okay, maybe they were afraid to tell you like legally they were dealing with their baby mother or some type of legal case. It could be a house, right? A car issue. Pisces partner want to tell us, whoa. Oh, so you have a lot of individual people that your partner perhaps walked away from or someone walked away from them. Okay, you have heavy Sagittarius here, Pisces. All right, so this is a this is a Sagittarius. So someone might have Sag in their chart, like I do. I have, I am a Pisces Sun, and uh, Moon and Sagittarius. So you do have the Aquarius, which I also have Aquarius on my Venus. You have the Empress, which is a Libra or a Taurus. Okay, reversed. Um, this could have been a baby mother that they left or walked away from. It could have been a child, all right, that they decided to walk away from because you have the mother and father reversed here, the emperor and the empress, okay? The emperor is in Aries, Aquarius, and a Taurus Libra, all major arcanas here. Also, a Libra heavy and a Virgo. So you have a definitely a story here regarding your partner, major arcana, and their energy field. So they're not ready to come forward because they was dealing with things that's pertaining to family, home, and the kids. All right. So yeah, Pisces. Let's see what else is on the bottom here, and then we're clarify. We have the Knight of Chalices reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the Eight of Chalices. So I feel Pisces that some of you are like 
scorning your, your ex-partner or maybe they have scorned you the eight of wands is a like you know what i'm saying serving walking papers here okay you're like don't come here and try to use and abuse me because i will let you go keep on walking the eight the seven eight well actually the eight nine and ten of cups is a pisces it's about walking away. That's why the High Priestess is a Pisces card because we shut shit out when things are no longer serving our higher good here. You also have a younger Pisces Cancer Scorpio that we're not interested in right now. And maybe someone from the past who walk away wants to now return after dealing with this baby mother uh, drama here. Alright, um, so let's clarify. I see what exactly going on because... And your energy, you look stable, okay? You have your shit together, all right, Pisces? And, um, all right, Pisces, let me see. Let's clarify. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I am accepting personals, okay? Ace of Wands, whoa. Okay, so yeah, the Magician is here at the bottom. The Seven of Cups. You have the Four Chalices, which is about rejecting a cup of love. But I don't understand why they got this guy binge eating. Some of us might be binge eating, turning our backs on an Aerial Sagittarius. Alright, maybe an Aerial Sagittarius acts to rekindle Pisces. And you decided to say no, you'd rather wait on a soulmate. And you put a, a death to it. I'm seeing two different scenarios here, so some of us have a, a, a you know, a, a solid offer here of love, and some of us turned our backs on that love, okay? Put the pieces how you see fit, or book a private reading. Or if you really like the video, you want to support my channel, you can donate. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Well, yeah, someone wants to book a trip here, the Six of Swords finally have a happy medium these are both about walking towards something or someone the three of pentacles and the six of swords walking towards karma waters going to going somewhere booking a trip all right thinking things out thoroughly all right the swords is about the mind the uh two of cups is about emotions here so you do have the ace of pentacles and the king of swords okay wow so it might be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a crazy but Gemini who might want to work things out. Finally be honest about how they feel about you. Why is the Six of Wands here? Well, this could be your energy, Pisces. Wow. Okay, so you have the chariot that just popped out literally on top of the Palo Santos. Okay, so if some of us are dealing with this Cancer, let's give them a cleanse here because, child, we need it. All right? <laughs> All right, or even a vehicle if you're driving, traveling, let's clean you out here with the Palo Santos. So, some of us will have a connection with a cancer, a cancer might return, communicate, and maybe perhaps even offer you this stability and uh, honesty here with this two of chalices. All right, and the ace of pentacles is about stability financially as well, and the king of swords is an honest man. A very smart business type woman, man as well or woman okay so yeah you might have a cancer who might want to say look let's work this out some of us might accept it and some of us might reject it so that's the death card why is the death card here for Pisces all right yeah the will of, will of karma you guys are allowing the karma to serve justice here okay it's like a rebirth excuse me Pisces okay is a rebirth here um so some of us might re reconcile this relationship you might feel like karma is putting you guys back together all right and some of us do want to be happy and be victorious here we want to have that soulmate we don't want to miss the opportunity with a soulmate it could possibly be another cancer very heavy or pisces cancer scorpio with the death card and the chariot here Okay, Pisces, so this is all about emotional stability. 
uh, physical attraction as well. So you have the Knight of Pentacles. Someone is moving slow. Most likely this is your energy Pisces. So you're moving very slow towards this relationship because it's like you you don't trust it. The Knight of Pentacles. Why is this here? Um, okay, yeah, the Knight of Chalices. All right, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Again, okay, riding, riding here on the chariot. All right, someone is saying, listen, listen, you have two cards about riding into the sunset or riding on the chariot or the little car whatever they're riding on okay coming towards you a pisces cancer scorpio wanting to offer you a small offer you have two nights a young type of person a young energy playful type of person okay i'm not really seeing immaturity and arrogance but you know better of the foolish need, foolishness and fuckery you've been dealing with so if you know that the fool is immature then that's the person who's coming back a young-minded person but they want to offer like love here okay okay um yeah the strength spirit says to remain strong okay during this uh, process here with this relationship because karma is going to come in and serve justice and your higher good regardless if you're meant to be with that person or not also i see heavy sagittarius is trying to peek through this energy Okay, so in your energy, you have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the Sag. You might also have a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and a Crazy, but Gemini. All right, very heavy. And maybe a Leo with the Strength card. All right, so why is the Two of Pentacles here? Um, yeah, someone, yeah, okay, someone was definitely dealing with just the justice system. And uh, it's reversed. So your partner is going to lose this justice. It's some type of injustice. Some type of illegal activity, maybe false checks. I don't even know if they do checks anymore, but some type of business that's not good for the, for the better. Someone is trying to make money by all means necessary, and they have love to offer here, the Ace of, um, the Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So your partner is deciding who they want to cherish, who they want to bring around family, and who they want to continue to love. So your partner is trying to make that decision, but they're making it alone here and very quiet place all right they might also be dealing with some type of depression here some someone who's not happy about the way things are going in their life so they definitely might be having a divorce or dealing with some issues regarding a child okay as you can see here in the two of pentacles here is, is some type of injustice here all right and they might not even win they might be losing the case regarding like family all right, and they're not happy about it. Okay, so now they have the Empress. It could have definitely been a baby mother with it battling like a, a court issue. The Justice card, why is this here? Ooh, ouch. Okay, so it's the Princess of Swords. So they're dealing with like a younger, a crazy but Gemini, maybe. Maybe that person is someone who is trying to get them out of the uh, legal system. And they feel like this person is going to be beneficial to them. Or they could be dealing with a Libra or Virgo. Okay. Um, behind your back that you don't know about. Why is the inference here? Uh, this is definitely a baby mother or woman figure here. Um, yeah. This is the night of. Okay. Pisces. If you're dealing with a, a Libra or a Taurus or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's reversed. So they definitely was dealing with like a baby mother or a woman figure who they thought will bring them into a higher place or a better place of living you know this is what they were aiming for they could have got stuck okay and made the wrong decision and gallop away from you and then they got burnt by this queen of swords okay this queen of swords don't take no shit okay and uh what's so weird is that in their energy here on this table their cards are all reversed your cards are all in the upright so your partner know that they did something unjust unjustly and screwed all right so they screwed themselves by trying to maybe go back to their baby mother during the COVID. maybe got someone pregnant didn't is not happy with the baby and decided to gallop away or walk away pisces all right so this is someone who's searching for answers to their life someone is not ready 
listen Pisces to even commit emotionally unemotionally person I'm feeling like this energy of someone who's disconnected from reality here someone who's not emotionally connected so this is someone we decided to breathe all right and we are trying to ask spirit why are we going through heavy waters all right I said this many times because your enemies can't swim Okay, why are you taking me through troubled waters? Because your enemies can't swim, honey. So, Pisces, take it for a grain of salt. We are so nice nice that uh, God always sent Pisces wounded people, right? Think about it. We always are like the healers of the society. And they always send us people who's damaged. And we try to heal and help. But at the same time, we're not helping or healing ourselves, right? Why is the star here? Whoa, okay. Um, what is this? The Six of Swords. All right, yeah, moving away to calmer waters because your enemies can't swim, honey. Okay, why are you taking me through troubled waters, God? This is you, Pisces, with the Four of Cups. You're asking God constantly, why are you putting me through these heavy waters? Because your enemies can't swim. Noah's Ark. Get in the boat, Pisces. I know you don't want to get in the boat, but get in the boat. Okay, so this is your partner moving away, okay, and feeling like they're afraid to come back after being, you know, worthless to you, lies, deceit, okay, a whole bunch of stuff I can throw out here, um, and they can't even come to terms to apologize, so they're not even sure what direction or where to go. The Six of Swords and the Hermit. And the Four of Cups is about rejection, being stuck in a rut, honey. Okay? They getting in this boat and getting stuck. Alright? So they're trying to pray to God for some forgiveness and peace. Okay? Definitely a mother-father figure here. Also, they have the, the temperance. Reconciling. Wanting to heal. And the Ace of Pentacles want to offer you something stable. It could be a stable offer of commitment. Or this could be a stable offer of financial stability here. They want you to have patience. Okay, this is spirit, not me. Put the pieces of the story to where you see fit. If it doesn't fit, book a private reading. So the Sagittarius is here. It's temperance, having patience. They need you to have patience. So that they could get their life stable or their mental mindset stable here. Because they're saying to you, I'm suffering in silence. I don't know what to do and I'm stuck. If I hurt you, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, Pisces. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. And then you have the emperor here. So this could be male or female. Switch the story as you see fit. You understand, Pisces. So I do see Pisces here on this other deck here. The Queen of Cups is here underneath this deck, reversed. Okay, some of us turned our back on fuckery and trickery because you are no longer going to be fucking like mind fucked and screwed here. Okay, you are no longer holding your own cup in your own heart in your hands, Pisces. You trying to rise above the waters of being left and destituted, being left ghosted. You understand, Pisces, with no answers and no pieces of this puzzle here. You're rising up, okay? You're reversed because you ain't with it, Pisces. All right, so let's see. Why is this emperor here? All right, the emperor is the seven of pentacles. Someone is working hard, okay? The four of wands. Someone is broken because some type of commitment, okay? I'm definitely seeing a marriage with the justice, okay? The mother and father is here, okay? A marriage that's broken. Now, to switch the story up, you ha could have been dealing with someone who was used to family traditions with the Ace of, with the Ace of Cups. And um, they didn't want to commit because they don't want to have an unfit family here. They don't want to have, like, stepmommy, stepdaddy problems. So they're taking their time to commit policies. So someone is afraid to commit or their family just wasn't, wasn't with the relationship that they that you presented to them. For example, if someone has different eth ethnicity, different backgrounds, the family was like, whoa, what is this? And that caused your partner to take a step back from you. It's not you, it's the family. But this is why when you fall in love and you find that two of cups, 
that person, a real soulmate, is going to choose you, Pisces. You don't got to chase no one, okay? This is a soulmate. I keep saying that for weeks is that it's another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, who is your soulmate, who is your destined person, or it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces. So you know your story better than I do. Um, now, before I close this out, Pisces, you have a Aquarius that's reversed, a Libra, Taurus that's reversed. Those are the energies and a Libra was in and out. So those are the type of energies that I see that's not workable. I did see the strength card and the Aries is on top. Cancer is here. Okay, and um, who else is here, Pisces? All right. So Cancer is on the upright. Is It might be a okay, but I know the other day I was supposed to do all signs. So let's just you know knock it out right now but i see a soulmate with a water sign pisces dealing with an aries mm. all right so aries is trying to same cards i'm so good pisces someone from the past might want to return okay after having some legal issues um Justice will be served and the hermit is here as well. So someone was coming out of solitude and sometime no I just saw 22 22 Pisces dealing with the Taurus All right, they feel heavy burdened here and wow the page of swords not interested in moving forward Okay, because they got other things to do that's on their mind here All right, also the stalker reversed the swords which is not normal for Taurus. Pisces dealing with the Gemini. Uh, the Knight of Wands and the High Priestess reversed. So, yeah, Pisces. <laughs> and then you have the Lovers reversed, the High Priestess. So, it's a no with them. Because they might come in and ghost. Or you might ghost them. Okay. I'm in for a short time, not a long time. Pisces dealing with the uh, Cancer here. Why is this here? All right. Someone wants to commit Pisces after being gone for so long here. The Nine of Cups sitting here. They took time to meditate. Or this could be you taking your time to, to sit on this. But you want commitment. If it's not them coming towards you to commit, you want commitment. Okay? If not, you're not with it with the Nine of Cups reverse. You want wish fulfillment. You want the Ten of Cups. You ain't with it, Pisces. All right. And you have also the Eight of Cups at the bottom. So non Eight Pisces, you're here. All right, yeah, you're trying to have strength here, but some of us are still weak-willed. Pisces dealt with a Leo. Whoa. <laughs> ah, the Two of Cups was holding on. Pisces dealing with... So you might be... A Cancer might be a soulmate. Pisces or a Leo. Pisces dealing with a Leo. Or a Leo season. A Cancer might come around. Yeah, you have the you have the Justice again. I just told you guys. I keep getting the same two cards no matter what. Okay? Okay, let me stop this noise, child. Okay. Okay, so you have here uh Leo, Justice 601 from the past want to come want wants to return. The King of Cups and the Hermit, same kind of cards here. Okay, um Pisces dealing with a um a Virgo. Oh, high priest and hangman. Okay. Oh, they're thinking about you, Pisces. Definitely quiet. Maybe not expressive about how they feel. They're afraid to tell you that they love you. Uh, the page of wands also passion holding on tight. So Virgo's holding on tight to you, Pisces. All right, Pisces dealing with the Scorpio. The Knight of Wands again and the Lovers. I keep getting the same cards. Okay, so they're not interested in loving you forever. Only short time for a short time. Ooh. And then heavy bird is in a third party. So they might even have you in a third party, Pisces. Or you have an option with them. Alright. Pisces dealing with a Libra. The five of wands. They're tired of fighting. I keep getting that for Libra. Um, yeah, this knight of wands keep coming out, Pisces. Somebody is quick to like come in and out. An ace of swords. Not being honest. They might be a liar as well. Um, Pisces dealing with a, um, 
Sagittarius. Two of Wands. Someone is waiting for you to contact them. Ooh, Queen of Swords. Okay, someone is definitely sharp. Wow. Um, Sagittarius is normally not this firm. And then you have the Chariot here. Cancer energy. So someone wants to move towards you, Pisces. The Sagittarius wants to move towards you. But they want to use their mind over their heart. Which is good sometimes, Pisces. Alright, so let me see. Pisces dealing with the Capricorn. Ooh, whoa. Their, their hermit is reversed. Someone is going through a divorce. And the Capricorn is here. It's the devil. They're here. The devil. <laughs> this is the only card that came out as their cards. So there is a codependency. Okay. Non-committal here. With the, with the devil reversed and the hermit reversed. Um, Pisces dealing with an Aquarius. Here's the Aquarius is here. Eight of Pentacles. They're they're working on their money here. All right. The Aquarius is here, focusing on their money and their career. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So they're not really interested in kind of like, you know, being with you. They're kind of stuck. Also, I have the Hermit here. Someone is meditating. <laughs> Leave me alone. I need time to think. I'm not interested in relationship. What relationship? <laughs> That's what I'm getting for Aquarius. So Pisces done with another Pisces. Alright, this was beautiful. Beautiful reading. Nine of Cups. Someone is meditating. Go ahead, Pisces. Ten of Pentacles. Whoa. And it fell on top of the two of cups. Soulmate. So it might be another Pisces who's a soulmate. You got the nine of cups and the ten of cups. Abundance. Happiness. Whoa. That's the happy family. The three of pentacles, ready to work on things. Mm. Pisces spirit, one more card. Alright, this is the last card. Oh my goodness, na na na. The nine of wands, Pisces, it looks good. And you have the moon, the death card here, and the two of cups again. Alright, so some of us are not feeling like the, the soulmate is here. You guys are giving up hope. Right? Some of us are like, oh, I don't know anymore. Alright, this is not, I don't think this is true. I'm not going to find a soulmate. Something is secretive, the page of cups, and a death card here. Alright, and the ending, I mean the two of, uh, the two of pentacles juggling. So Pisces, with these top cards, this looks promising to me. You have the nine of cups to the ten of, I mean the ten, nine of pentacles. And now moving towards the Ten of Pentacles, which is amazing. And then you have the Nine of Cups and the Three of Pentacles want to work on things. And for this to be the final message, you might have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, who's your soulmate. All right. But you've seen all signs. So you guys put the pieces where you see fit. Leave the rest. Thank you again. And thank you for those who do look at the video and donate to me. I see you. I recognize it. And I'm very grateful. And God bless everyone. Namaste. Okay, Pisces. Uh, you're in a goddess. Alright. Okay, Pisces. Here we are. To read the uh, 38 Soul Sisters. That's the uh, card we received today from Spirit. Alright, Pisces. So, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, number 38 for Pisces, Spirit, 77. There we are. Really sharp. Okay. You are being emotionally and psychologically influenced by the people around you more than you may realize. Sometimes this is good. They uplift and inspire you and hope you feel loved and loving. However, sometimes you may sense that being truly yourself in this situation could result in unwanted conflict and you undermine yourself to keep the peace. You find that the moment you stop doing this, some difficulties you've been having and moving forward will fall away, almost as if by magic. The relationship worth holding on to can handle a little more truth, even if feathers get ruffled before being smoothed over with love once more. The spiritual guidance regarding this card 
some relationships nourish your soul whilst others damage it a nourishing relationship has an effect on your soul just like nourishing food does on your body it makes you feel good increases your energy to live your life and enhances your well-being healthy relationships for your soul are those that uplift and inspire and help you become more of yourself with fearlessness they do not drag your spirit down into anxiety and confusion some people may love you but just not know how to be in a relationship with you that is healthy for your soul with such people you would either need to show them how to be in your life in a soul loving way or take extra special care of yourself when you are around them sometimes this will not be enough to protect you from the negative influence of your relationship and you will need to walk away this can be sad yet it also creates space for your soulmates to enter your life these are <laughs> I think this card was completely uh, necessary today. Mm. People with whom you share a deep and real connection. You love each other in a way that frees you to be yourself. We attract new soulmates into our world by being good to ourselves. Be your own best friend first. Require respect in your relationships. Then you will find it easy to recognize the people who genuinely love you and invite them into your heart. This sacred ritual Say aloud, I get healthy love and connection into my life. I have the courage to handle unhealthy patterns of relating with wisdom and strength. I love myself. I have so much love to share unconditionally with others. My heart recognizes my true soulmates as I open myself up to genuinely loving relationships. God bless you, uh, Pisces. And uh, namaste. Did we do the Psalms? <laughs>